talk about common multiples and the LCM. LCM would stand for least common multiple, and then we'll, later on we'll relate it back to fractions, and I'll tell you what we use it for. But I have two numbers here, both a 3 and a 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out the multiples of these two numbers. To do that, I want to think. I want you to think of it as counting by threes and counting by fours. So let's start with the threes. We'll always start with the first, which is a three. It's always itself first because three times one is three. Right? Then we go to three times two, which is six. Three times three is nine. And we can just keep on going. 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. We can stop there for now. We're going to do the same thing with fours. So again, we start with itself. Four, and then four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. And keep going, 16, 20, and 24. Now we're going to look for the common multiples. In other words, we're looking for numbers that occur in each of them, in the three and the four. So as we're going through this, we can see the three, three and four don't match up, six, nine, 12 and 12 do. So right now I'm just going to circle the 12s. But I'm gonna keep going. 15, 18, 21, 24 matches up. Now, the easiest way to get a common multiple is multiplying the two numbers together. So when we do that, we get 12. That's not always the easiest way to get the least common multiple, however. So when we look at these two, we have 12 and 24. The least common multiple would be 12. In this case, it worked out, but it doesn't always work out in that way. So if you're finding a common multiple, it's okay to multiply the two numbers. But if you want to find the least common multiple, you must write out the multiples and then look it over. Okay? Now let's look at this problem. Lauren is buying fish fillets and buns for the soccer team dinner. What is the smallest number of fish fillets and buns she can purchase to have the same amount if the fillets come in a box of six and the buns come in a pack of eight? So we're going to factor this out, or sorry, we're going to write out the multiples of six and eight. Okay, like I said, we always start with itself. Six times one is six. And we'll keep going by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. We're going to do the same with 8. We start with 8, then 16, 24, 32, and 40. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is it says the smallest number. So we are looking for the LCM. So remember what I said last time that finding the LCM, the multiplying the two numbers together doesn't always work. When we multiply these two numbers together, we get 48. That is not going to be our LCM. So we need to look through. First number that's alike. 6 and 8 aren't. 12 and 16 aren't. 18. Oh, here we go. We have a match. So our match is 24. Now, going back to the question, if the fillets come in a box of six, that means they need to buy one, two, three, four boxes of fillets. And when the buns come in a pack of eight, they need to buy one, two, three packs of buns. Then Lauren could have the same amount of both. And that is how you use common multiples in the LCM to find answers to problems like this.